In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Phantom Buster to generate a list of local business leads automatically. What's up, you guys? My name's Ashley, and if you're trying to sell services to local businesses, get your product into more shops, or just connect with small business owners in a specific area, this tutorial is going to show you how to build a list without spending hours manually pulling names from Google Maps or Yelp. Let's get into it. So first off, what is Phantom Buster? Phantom Buster is a no-code automation platform that helps you extract data and automate tasks across websites like LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Google Maps, and more. Each automation is called a phantom and it's designed to do one specific task like scraping a search result, collecting business details, or enriching a contact list with public data. You don't need to know how to code. Phantom Buster offers a full library of pre-built templates. Whether you're building a cold lead list, tracking followers, or monitoring public data, you can set up the workflow once and it runs on autopilot. In this video, we'll focus on using Phantom Buster to extract business information from Google Maps based on a keyword and a location, and then use that data to create a usable lead list for outreach, partnerships, or client prospecting. So why local lead generation still works? Local businesses often get overlooked in the world of digital marketing, but they're still a massive part of the economy. Whether you're offering web design, social media management, consulting, advertising, software, or even local local PR, reaching out to these businesses can be incredibly effective, especially when you have accurate data and a clear value proposition. The issue is building those lists manually take time. Searching yoga studios in Austin, clicking through each listing, copying phone numbers and emails, it's tedious, repetitive, and frankly, just not the best use of your time as a founder or marketer. Phantom Buster lets you automate all of that. You search once, it pulls all the listings, and now you've got a clean spreadsheet of qualified leads ready for outreach. So let's dive into exactly how to do this from setting up your Phantom Buster account to exporting your final lead list. If you want to follow along, I've left our exclusive link in the description below. Once you click that link, all you have to do is go ahead and enter in your email address and click start free trial. You don't even have to add in your credit card yet. So before we get into the actual specific Phantom that we're going to go over, I just wanted to quickly show you around the dashboard so you're clear on everything in Phantom Buster. So as you can see on this side over here, we've got the launch type, the activity, the strategy, and the platforms. These are all filters to use. Right here is going to be where all of your current active and inactive phantoms will be. So as you can see, this one is the LinkedIn search to emails and you can see success. So if you have, let's say 10 phantoms running and you want to maybe look at the paused or the ones that are in error, you can just filter right here. Or if you want to look at the manual versus automatic, you also can filter, right? And then if you go ahead and go to solutions, this is where all the different phantoms are located. You also can filter over here by popular, you know, LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, Google, Instagram, HubSpot, as well as by strategy like extracting leads, enriching data, engaging with leads, and then other things down here. They have a lot of different phantoms to look for in here, so just make sure you search if there's something specific that you want to look at. So now that you understand how Phantom Buster works and what the dashboard looks like, let's go into step by step. So step number one is to find your target area and niche. So before even opening, before even looking at any of the phantoms, we want to be clear about what kind of business you're targeting and where. For example, the niche you could be looking for is coffee shops, dentists, yoga studios, accountants, florists, and then the location could be a specific city, zip code, or region. Write this down, have this in your mind because it's going to be important in our next step. Step number two is we're going to go ahead and go over to Google Maps and all we're going to do is type in coffee or let's do yoga studios denver cool so now we'll take this link once you have the selected area that, and region that you wanted maybe you wanted it a little bit more you can go ahead and zoom out if you want we're gonna take this and copy and paste it i'm gonna zoom in just to make sure we don't have a million results and it takes forever to load but we'll go ahead and do this now step number three is we're gonna go to the solutions over here i'm just gonna type in google maps perfect i'm gonna use this one and we're going to paste that in. You're just pasting the URL in. So um, you also can select your desired language, the number of spreadsheet rows to process per launch. This is optional. Number of results to scrape per search. Let's go ahead and just do 50. You also can select to extract Jeep's coordinates from each location. You can name your results file as well if you would like. Go Yoga Studio Denver. Okay, we'll go ahead and click save. Now what we want to do is select the launch frequency. So you want to make sure you're 
spreading across multiple launches throughout the day during office hours to keep your account safe. So what you can do is select repeated and then you could do three times, four times a day, or you could do advanced where you're selecting the amount of minutes, the hours, the days, the months, etc. We're just going to do it once for example sake, but it would automatically do it on the frequency that you want it to. Now, all you have to do is click launch and all your activity and results will appear. Step number five is to review the output when the phantom finishes. You'll get a full spreadsheet that includes business name, address, phone number, website, Google rating, number of reviews, latitude, longitude, business category, Google Maps link. This is your raw lead list. If you want to go further, you can enrich this data using other phantoms or services. For example, by finding the owner's name or email address using something like hunter.io, drop contact, or clear bit. Step number six is to clean your lead list and segment it. Once you have the raw file, go through and clean it up. Remove duplicates. Filter by businesses with websites if you only want digital presence. Sort by rating or number of reviews to prioritize active businesses. You could add a column for outreach status, contacted, replied, follow-up. And if you're planning to use this for email outreach or sales prospecting, this step helps you stay organized and track results. Like I said, you also do have the option to schedule the automation to run however often you want. So if you're constantly targeting the same type of business, for example, new real estate agencies opening in a city, you can set the phantom to run on a schedule. So you'll go to settings, you'll choose repeatedly, and set it to run every seven days. You'll get a fresh list of businesses each week without lifting a finger. This is a smart way to track growth in your niche, spot new opportunities, or build a habit of consistent outreach without doing the work manually. Now let's dive into some of the pros and cons of using Phantom Buster for local lead generation. One of the biggest advantages is speed. What would take hours to pull manually from Google Maps, names, addresses, websites can be done in minutes. It's efficient and for local business targeting, it's much more accurate than buying old databases or using broad B2B lists. It's also highly customizable, so you're in control of the exact keywords and location. So your lead list reflects exactly the kind of businesses you want to reach and the ability to export that into Google Sheets or CSV means you can plug it right into your CRM, email tool, or tracking sheet. That said, there are a few limitations. Phantom Buster can only pull data that's publicly visible. If a business doesn't have a website or contact info listed on their Google profile, it won't be able to fill in the gap. In those cases, you'll need to enrich your list using a separate tool. Also, Phantom Buster doesn't verify or validate contact information. It pulls what it sees, but it's still up to you to make sure the data is usable, especially if you're using it for client outreach or cold email. Finally, like all scraping tools, changes to the source site, in this case, Google Maps, can occasionally break the automation. Phantom Buster updates its phantoms regularly, but it is something to keep in mind if you rely on it for high volume work. Now, I just wanted to review the pricing and plan options for you so you have a good idea of what this would actually look like in your budget and which plan is best for you. If you click our exclusive link in the description, you can go straight to upgrade. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. They have a couple of different plans, including a free plan, and they have annual versus monthly billing. I'm going to go over the annual billing because you can save 20% if you do choose to sign up and pay annually. So they have the free trial, which is a 14 day free trial, no credit card required. You get two hours of execution time, 1000 AI credits, five slots for phantoms and limited exports, as well as a bonus 50 email credits. For the starter, the pro and the team plan, everything is the same in what you get. You just get more of each item. So more execution time, more AI credits, more phantoms, etc. But each plan gets unlimited exports, community access, and priority support. So the starter plan is $56 per month paid annually. And as you can see, they've got the 20 hours a month execution time, 10K month AI credits, and five slots for phantoms on top of a bonus 500 email credits a month. The pro plan is $128 per month billed annually, and you get everything in the starter plan, just more. So you get 80 hours a month, 30K a month versus the 10, 15 slots versus the five, etc. Same with the team plan. So this is $352 per month paid annually, and you get everything is the same. You just get more execution time, more AI credits, etc. And then the bonuses also increase with your, as your plan increases as well. So just get started with a free trial. See if it's something that really works with your system and your business, and then you can upgrade from there. So should you use Phantom Buster for local business lead generation? If you're offering a service or product to local businesses and spending any amounts of time gathering leads manually, then yes, Phantom Buster is worth using. It gives you a consistent way to build accurate lists, track new businesses, and scale up your outreach or partnership efforts without hiring someone to do research full-time. It's especially helpful for marketers, freelance, 
freelancers, agency owners, or founders testing new offers. Anyone who needs to validate or fill a pipeline quickly using real data. The key is using it as a system, not a one-time tool. Setting up your targeting, schedule the runs, clean the output, and you'll always have a fresh batch of leads ready to go. One of the best parts of using tools like Phantom Buster is how much space they create in your business. Instead of spending hours on repetitive tasks, you can build systems that work in the background and give you the time and focus to work on what really matters. Whether you're building a product, growing a service, or just trying to operate more efficiently, small automations like this make a big difference. You don't have to automate everything, but starting with one reliable process can completely shift how you work. Again, if you want to check out Phantom Buster yourself, the link is in the description below and you can get access to the free trial and the latest features. I do want to mention that these are affiliate links, which mean we do earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. So if you do choose to use our link, we just want to thank you so much in advance because it helps us to continue to create free content just like this. This channel is dedicated to helping early stage founders and solopreneurs grow smarter, faster, and with better tools. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments or questions below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.